What a triumph. What a triumph for our movement to have these victories across Europe right now and a sign of things to come here in America. A very special moment is happening, and we will be here to cover the revolution. It shall be broadcast, and we will bring it to you in vivid, living color. And so don't believe the liars and the Cretans who say that this woman is a fascist who just won in Italy, and that she's in the mold of Mussolini or Hitler. No. No, no, no. We have for you a clip that is going totally viral right now across the internet of Maloney giving a speech. And it is a speech where she really identifies what she stands for and what she stands against. Now, if you were to watch this and you were to say, wow, I wish that my Republican representative has the balls of this Italian woman, you'd be correct. I said that watching it myself. This is one of the most perfectly distilled representations of what we stand for on this show and what you should stand for every single day of your life. She nails and rips the bark off of the plan to dehumanize you, degender you, deracialize you, tear away your religion, make your religion illegal, and then reduce you to a number so that you can be a good consumer for the globalist cabal. It is the most pristine 90 seconds of a political speech I think I have ever seen, this side of maybe Donald Trump or Ron DeSantis. But sometimes even they lack the extreme verve and clarity of this woman. And so I give you the greatest, and in her own words, representation of what just happened in Italy. And it is a triumph. Please watch and enjoy. Potrei farne tante altre di queste domande. A monte c'è quella che ci facciamo oggi. Perché la famiglia è un nemico? Perché la famiglia fa così paura? C'è una risposta unica per tutte queste domande. Perché ci definisce, perché è la nostra identità. Perché tutto quello che ci definisce in questo tempo è un nemico. Per chi vorrebbe che non avessimo più un'identità e che che fossimo solamente schiavi, consumatori perfetti. E allora è sotto attacco l'identità nazionale, è sotto attacco l'identità religiosa, è sotto attacco l'identità di genere, è sotto attacco l'identità familiare. Non devo potermi definire italiana, cristiana, donna, madre, no. Io devo essere cittadino X, genere X, genitore 1, genitore 2, devo essere un numero. Perché quando sarò solamente un numero, quando non avrò più un'identità, quando non avrò più radici, beh, allora sarò lo schiavo perfetto in balia della grande speculazione finanziaria. Il consumatore perfetto. E questa è la ragione per la quale... Questa è la ragione per la quale oggi noi facciamo tanta paura. Questa è la ragione per la quale oggi questo appuntamento fa tanta paura. Perché noi non vogliamo essere dei numeri. Noi siamo qui per dire che noi non siamo dei numeri. Noi difenderemo il valore della persona umana, di ogni singola persona umana, perché ognuno di noi ha un codice genetico unico e irripetibile. E questo piaccia o no a del sacro. Lo difenderemo. Difenderemo Dio, la patria e la famiglia, che fanno tanto schifo a qualcuno. Lo faremo per difendere la nostra libertà perché noi non saremo mai schiavi e semplici consumatori in balia della speculazione finanziaria. Ecco la nostra missione, ecco perché oggi sono venuta qui. Scriveva Chesterton ormai più di un secolo fa, vediamo se se ve lo trovo, fuochi verranno attizzati per dimostrare che 2 più 2 fa 4, spade verranno sguainate per dimostrare che le foglie sono verdi in estate. Quel tempo è arrivato, signori. Siamo pronti. Grazie. Whew, baby, Giorgia Maloney. Ladies and gentlemen. And I'm probably not saying that correctly. It's probably like something more, uh, uh, something, something more, some more beautiful and Italian way to pronounce that. But I'm just going to read it like an American. I don't care how you read that speech. The line that I will not be gender X, race X, parent one, parent two. I refuse to be reduced to a number. I will not be reduced and atomized and dehumanized by the bean counters of the fascist states. This is anti-fascism here, by the way. This is the definition of anti-Nazism. This is the definition of anti-fascism. 
Fascism is the fusion of corporate interests and the state combining and fusing together to create a super state that can control all people. That's what this incredibly passionate, powerful woman, and now the first prime minister of Israel, I'm sorry, uh, Italy, is saying. The people of Israel know all far too well what happens when you reduce people to numbers. I've interviewed and done documentaries on people who still have numbers on their wrist. I've seen it with my own eyes. I've touched them. The numbers tattooed into their forearms. I've seen it. David Tuck is a Holocaust survivor who lives in New Jersey, who has been the focal piece of two separate documentaries that I've produced. I've seen what happens firsthand. And David Tuck has seen what happens firsthand when you dehumanize people and reduce them to numbers. When for your own evil gains, you destroy their food supply, their fuel, their nationality, and you dehumanize, atomize the human being, a person who has a unique DNA, a person who was created totally unique by their God and born into a heritage. No heritage is perfect. All heritages can be proud. It is a proud thing that you are here living today. Your ancestors made good decisions so that you could be here today and you should be proud of them. You should be proud of your ancestors. You should be happy that you were born. You should be thankful that your mother and father chose life in this wicked time. And you should defend the lives of others and the right of others to live and have a life. That we are endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights that among those, firstly, are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. The ability to chart our own course in our own adventures and to be seen by the state as individuals with human rights. That is what we defend on this show. That is what Georgia Maloney is defending in Italy. That is what rocketed her and her party to a commanding defeat of the globalist leftists who are anti-God, anti-human, and anti-rights given to you in nature by God. You were born with them. That's what inalienable means. What a triumph. What a triumph for our movement to have these victories across Europe right now and a sign of things to come here in America. A very special moment is happening, and we will be here to cover the revolution. It shall be broadcast, and we will bring it to you in vivid, living color. Thank you for watching. Our channel is here to meme the libs until they cry, and then to meme them crying. Their tears taste like ice cream. We ridicule the establishment, and we do so because of you. Your support keeps us going. So if you liked what you saw, please click the thumbs up. Please punch, subscribe, and ring the bell to let you know when we have a new video. Don't you want us to let you know when we're live? Please check out more of our videos here and sign up for our mailing list in case something happens and the plug gets pulled. We want to be able to keep in touch with you. My name is Benny Johnson and thank you for watching Based Patriots Stay Free.